3-0 win for Manchester City, coupled with Leicester's 3-1 victory early on against Liverpool in a game which Liverpool were leading by a goal to nil until three goals in seven minutes for Leicester means that Jurgen Klopp conceded that Liverpool can't win the title this season. Crystal Palace beaten 3-0 at home by Burnley. It's a Burnley side who'd only scored two Premier League goals away from home in their last nine games. However, they put three past Palace. Brighton against Aston Villa still to come. And you can see highlights from all of today's Premier League games on the Sky Sports app, on the website, and on the Sky Sports Football YouTube channel. You can do that for free and without signing in. So it means that Manchester City are seven points clear of Leicester at the top of the table. And City have a game in hand over the team in second place. And Manchester United due to play tomorrow. For Tottenham, they stay four points adrift of the top four. We will have time to reflect on Manchester City's win over Tottenham at the Etihad this evening. Well, he said it's not over yet. We'll return to that question. But let's let's start by by talking about the, the penalty and, and the incident that, that led up to it as well, Micah, because um, Rodri said that he ignored Edison's advice. And we'll, we'll come to that when we, when we see it. But look, the, the penalty incident itself, was it a penalty? Yeah, I, I think it was. A, it was clumsy from Hoiberg there. He just catches the back of, 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 of Gundogan. Uh, fantastic run in the box. In a, in a slow down motion, actually it looks, you just see Gundogan actually stands on Hoiberg first, but it's still a clumsy challenge. So I do think it was a penalty. So this is Edison going up the, up the pitch to pass on a message through Bernardo Silva to Rodri to give him the advice that he subsequently ignored. <laughs> Ignore, he ignored it and it, it wasn't the greatest penalty. But Maybe you should have taken it. <laughs> we should have taken the advice. It's the way he strokes it here. Just think, just think, Lloris will be disappointed with that. You know, he's he's normally a quality shot stopper, and he just doesn't get enough work with a palm. But yeah, he'll be he'll do great for his confidence, Rodri. He he really he really played a good game today because I've been critical of him in in what he brings to this Manchester City team, and they've got so much stars in front of them. But he knits it together. He's found a, a position perfect for what he needs. With Cancelo running down the other side and going a little bit more advanced, he's the one who just stands there, protects and mops up. So fair play to him. Yeah, you've got the likes of Gundogan getting forward mm. in, in ridiculous numbers for, for him. I mean, he's, he's just having such a, a great season. But we're... Were Spurs architects their own downfall here? A little passive all game, really, Kelly. I think that this is a side that's too easy to play against right now. Early in the season, Tottenham were making challenges so difficult to play against. Look, it's always difficult with this City side because they move the ball so quickly. They want you to dive into tackles. But Sissoko, very much like Hoiberg in the first half, has got to follow that run. But Gundogan, take nothing away from him. He's in such good form, he's full of confidence. He's getting numbers right now that I didn't think he'd have. But I think it just shows up this Man City side and 3-0, and I think it sums it up. They are full of confidence. Yuri's here again, Jamie? Yeah, I mean, he's having a nightmare at the moment. But I think the whole defence is lacking confidence. It really is a team that's struggling in, in every front, defensively go, attacking. But 3-0 is, I think, it's just a, a dream from City's point of view. It's always something that you want from a keeper making an assist. But when I look at this Man City side, I remember the, the Dutch team of the, of the 70s playing total football. Players playing in different positions, everyone rotating, so hard to pick up, so hard to mark. And that's typical of what Man City are doing right now. Even the strikers playing in different areas. Gundogan makes a great run and he just makes a fall of Sanchez. The, the little bit of strength there, then the exquisite touch and Sanchez tries to win it with his head. I think he's waiting for a wall to be lined up in front of him. <laughs> it was, it was just that touch there, he just, and then this one here, just oh. off balance. I don't know what he was trying to do there, but Edison, what, what a pass. Oh, Seriously. How can you kick it so far without any, hardly any effort? Look, it's effortless. That's his second Premier League assist, Edison, even though you, I feel as though we, we've seen this before because he does have that long-range passing it, it, down to It's just so, so easy for him. Why, like Jamie said it, it was effortless. Yeah. The way he kicks the ball, the technique that he's got, it's just, it's just a joy to watch, really. is. Gundogan, though, his third double in, in five games. He's never made double figures in terms of scoring at any stage of his career before, and he's done that between the start of December and now he's reached 11. He's in the, the form of his life. You know, confidence, you know, it looked like he got a, a knock, so he had to come off, which is a, a massive blow for the team. But he just seems to have a freedom. I remember watching him um, 
early parts of his City career, and he would get into them areas, but he wouldn't be putting him away. He was more trying to get an assist, but he's confident now, and he, he really is coming to his own. So two goals for Ilkay Gundogan in that 3-0 victory for Manchester City. It's the biggest Premier League defeat that Tottenham have had under Jose Mourinho. Here he is with Jeff Shreves. Jose, what did you make of it? What do you call a modern penalty? Modern penalty is the penalty where uh, even if you touch with the nail inside of the box, can be a penalty. Uh, of course, it depends on the opponent, depends on, on, on the team. But um, for some, you touch with the nail is a, is a penalty. Then you go to the, uh, to the VAR, and the VAR cannot deny that there was a, a touch, uh, sometimes, with a, sometimes with the toe, sometimes with, um, with the nail, uh, sometimes with the nose. Uh, you cannot then deny that there was a, a contact. So that's what I call the, the modern penalties. Well, Jose Mourinho effectively saying he thought it was a soft penalty, but was that decision why Tottenham lost the game? No, they were, they were outclassed in so many areas. And I look at a side now, I think they were top December the 15th. They were, now they're 14 points behind Man City. Uh, when I looked at that team that was top, a lot of people were talking about they could win the league, they're loving the way they play, Jose masterclasses, defensively sound, breathtaking on the break. And when I see this Spurs side right now, it's a shadow of that team. No pace going forward. I'm looking at Son, he's doing more defending and attacking. And this almost feels like the way they're playing right now is as a Jose masterclass. And they are really struggling. Why is um, such a difference, though? What, what, what's well, gone wrong? He's tried to change. He's almost, it feels that he's trying to... He's trying to make other people happy with the way he's playing. When they were, at, they were doing well at the start, in that, in, that, in that stage, they were playing Sissoko and Hoiberg. It wasn't a joy to watch. I said it. I went, you know, I, I said, I'm not enjoying this football, but it's winning for them. Now it's like he's almost trying to please the fans, and this isn't working. Rotating back fours all the time. Where does that bring anyone any confidence? And then he said they've made mistakes. Yeah, because you keep changing the back four every week. And that's what it feels like to me. It's a team that's lacking confidence. But he has to accept responsibility for that. He brings in Deli Alley and Gareth Bale. He's wanted them to, to bail him out, if you like. Why that? You know, you've been treating them badly. They've not been in the team. And now you're asking them to make a difference for you. That is not how modern football works. Players are like, no, not for me. You need to keep players on side. And Jose is making a habit right now of upsetting too many people that he needs as allies, not enemies. Meanwhile, Manchester City are flying in a word, Micah. Is the title theirs this season? Yes. <laughs> yeah, look at that smile. Look at we that don't smile. have time for a longer answer, but you will get lots more reaction on Sky Sports News and right across our digital platforms. But up next, we are heading down to the south coast. Aston Villa looking to make up some ground and get themselves closer to the top four again. They're up against the Brighton side, though, unbeaten in the last five, looking to make it six for the first time since 1981.